Okay, next we're going to talk about equivalent polar coordinates. Let's take a look at this example here that I already have graphed and I'm going to go ahead and explain these formulas in a second. So the point I have here is negative 2 and 210 degrees and if I wanted to plot that like we the previous video, what you would do is you start here, you go 210 degrees, make that a dotted line, reverse it 180 degrees in the other direction and our point ends up here. So the question is, well, instead of going through all that, that's a lot of work to go around it here, reverse it, go back. Is there an easier way that I can get an equivalent point that allows me to arrive at the same spot, but maybe instead of having a negative R, I'd have a positive R, or maybe there might be a way to simplify uh, this angle that I have here. As it turns out, there actually is. So for instance, let's suppose that I wanted to keep my R the same, and instead of having uh, a value of 210, maybe I want one only in the first quadrant, or maybe I want an angle that's more than 360. Well, the way that we can do that is the point that, that you are right here, if you add 360 around, that's going to take you to exactly the same spot. So if you don't want to change the, the sign of the R and keep that the same, but you want to find an angle that's maybe more than 360 or less than 360 or less than zero, then we're going to use the first formula here. So you can notice that the original point was r and theta. Notice that my new coordinates, the r does not change at all. I have theta plus or minus 2 pi if I'm in radians or plus or minus 360. By adding or subtracting 360 will not change the sign of the r. Basically I arrive at the same spot that I originally was at before. Now these down here are where if you want to change it from positive r to negative r or also if you start with a negative r here you can change it to a positive. So you can actually change the sign of the r by adding or subtracting 180. So why is it 180? That's because whenever you plot the point you got to reverse it 180 degrees in the other direction. So uh, in order to illustrate that I'm going to go ahead and take this point and suppose that I wanted to rewrite this point with a positive r value. Well what that I could do here is I can change the 2 uh, to a positive 2 and then the 210 degrees I can either I need to either add or subtract 180. Let's suppose, let's see what happens when I subtract 180 because if I add 180 uh, then I'm going to be more than 360 so let's go ahead and subtract 180 from it. Now if I do that here's the point that I get. I get 2 and I get from that one 30 degrees. So what I've just done is I've found an equivalent po uh, polar coordinate. Now it takes me to exactly the same spot because notice if I do this one 2 and 30 degrees that means I would just go 30 degrees, draw the solid line, count 2, that's it. I don't have to worry about using a negative r value. So what I've done is I found an equivalent polar coordinate, takes me to the same spot as this one but I just rewrote it by using a positive r value and now I have a theta here was between 0 and 360 it takes me to the equivalent spot. So what the next couple of problems are, we'll do one example and then a couple other videos will show some different examples. They're going to give you three different conditions and they want you to take the original point and write it three different ways. So that's what we're going to take a look at next but this, these are the general formulas that you're going to be using uh, for the next couple of problems in this section.